Hey guys, welcome to The Psychologist. Uh, today I wanted to talk about uh, chronograph, vintage chronograph movements, specifically uh, 6139 movements, um, yeah, mainly that, that's the main one, the Pogues and uh, various other 6139 models. And specifically I wanted to talk about pushes and their gaskets. Now this is a typical 6139 Seiko pusher. Uh, we have the spring that goes into it, which causes our spring back action when we're engaging the chronograph. Now, this little guy here can be the cause of a lot of trouble in these watches. Here, if we can focus, we see the black gasket. Now, this is rock hard right now, as we can see. We don't want this gasket to be rock hard because rock hard gaskets don't provide much waterproofing uh, and they also get stuck and they create issues when it comes to um, uh, engaging our chronograph pushes. So what we need to do is we need to replace these gaskets. Now, a lot of people that aren't familiar with vintage Seikos just put a standard O-ring gasket in there and they don't put the right size in, but they actually require a specific type of gasket. Here we have my stock of 6139, 6138 pusher gaskets. Uh, the Seiko reference is DJ006OB01. Now what's so specific about these gaskets, when we open them up and see, is that they're called a D-shaped gasket. They're not an O-ring. They have a D-shaped profile. So what they are is, do you see how they have a circular outer and then they have a flat side? Do you see that there? They have a flat side, and they're also quite a thick gasket. And I can tell you that they're a real pain to put on, because if you can see, we have to get over this, over this, and then get our gasket on. So you can imagine, it's quite the job getting that over there. But they're rubber, so they're stretchy, and they work quite well. So it's really important when we're overhauling these Seikos, when these vintage chronographs, to get the correct D-shaped gasket, because that really helps us with waterproofing, and it really helps us with making sure that we have a nice fluid action when starting and stopping the chronograph. Another issue with these is the pushes actually, the stem here actually gets bent and they need bending back. So I always make sure that after I overhaul them, uh, I bend them back or I bend them uh, to the right shape or so they're straight so that we have a good, uh, good action on the start-stop lever of the chronograph. Uh, if they can't be bent back far enough, then we always obtain a replacement set of pushes as well. So I just wanted to share that with you guys, talk about the importance of pusher gaskets, talk about the importance of gaskets in general, um, and make sure that when you do take your vintage Seiko to get overhauled, they're using the correct gaskets uh, so that you know your watch is getting the best service possible. Uh, thanks for watching today, guys. Um, you, please subscribe if you enjoyed the video. You can also head over to Instagram and follow me. I'm at The Psychologist on Instagram. Uh, as well, you can check out my website, thepsychologist.com, uh, for hints, tips, tricks, uh, all my service information. And uh, my blog as well, you can follow the pro progress of uh, watches I've restored over there.